either. Oh, indeed. My All right. And I lost what are we doing right now? Is anything? Do I have anything to do, or am I just talking to Otto? We're just talking Otto. Okay. Good to know. A flood that wasn't there a fortnight ago. Shut your mouth, dude. Dive. If you're here, where the hell is everyone else? Don't tell me. They're all right. But it's a long story. You lot don't do things by halves, do you? Well, at least everyone's still breathing. Everyone's now, breathing, mate. As for these writings, I'm sorry to say, Clive, but if you had those, you'd be... Sitting under a pile of rubble, I know. <laughs> but we were able to save a few bits and pieces from the ruins, most of which ended up being used to build this place. The more personal items we gave to the next of kin. In the case of Sid's things, that would have been mid. Then I'll check the workshop. Like father, like daughter. I'll try not to think too much about what was lost the day Tartan attacked. If only it was just Sid's life's work. I mean, who knows? Maybe Sid had some grand scheme plan thing. Faria, you got anything to say? Or you, bro? What do you do to my boils if Taya ain't around, eh? Oh, she's not even here. Who will see to your boils? Bro, why you boils? Do I? Master Sid, have you seen His Highness the Prince? We were to dine together. Oh my god. Or so I was going to suggest. Before he vanished, that is. I suppose now I'll just have to ask the bard. Yeah, so did Taria take him somewhere? I'm assuming. It says here that once turned, an Akashic is forever lost. I mean, yeah. Your brand. You're going to have it removed then. What choice am I? It's the only way they'll take me into the curse breakers. You gotta do what you gotta do, bro. But that brand can't be good on your face. I mean, it's got poison in it. If Amber and the Lazarus are gone, then. Then everyone in Port Isolde is in danger. Shirley, how can we learn to be clever like Miss Middadol? You can start by paying attention during your lessons. Damn, that kid just got bodied. It's quite pretty, sort of. Only it wasn't for all the Akashic shit. Let's just hope none of that ends up where we're at here. Do you think this ship will have a sail? You saw that work of devilry on the deck, didn't you? The second fall of man is now. Oh, jeez. The devilry on deck. Mm, yes, I'm sure. We've had no word from Canva for days. Please tell me Mid is all right. Inspect volumes. <laughs> Honey, is that? That's pretty neat. Yo, it's vacation thesis. This looks like it's from Sid's old diary. Uh, but you'll already have read it. I'd better keep looking. Dude, I feel like my lower back, like I wore a bunch of hats yesterday or something. Because I woke up today and like my lower back is just super sore. So I'm assuming I, I slept with too many hats. The leather loosener was only the first. Uh, I know this is your hideaway, but uh, you really... Shouldn't be in here. Whoa. If Mid Rude. you rifling through her. Yeah, research, too many hats. She'd have your head. Then mine for letting you. Inspect desk. What do we have here? Oh. Sid's pipes. Something tells me Mid won't be needing these. Take them. Some kind of little white mage doll. I remember seeing this doll in Sid's cellar. I wonder if it was Mids. Little white mage doll or something. How cute. Huh. What's this tucked inside it? Middle. I know you like them, your whittles. 
So I reckon you'll appreciate this one. Of all my interventions, this one's the best. No oh, inventions, this one's the best. And so, when choosing its place of rest, I recall your opus, daughter dearest. And now it sleeps there in the first. I'm going to have to work on that last rhyme. Good luck. So it's a it's a riddle for where the thing is. Um, of all my inventions, one's the best. And so when choosing its place of rest, I recalled your opus, daughter dearest, and now it sleeps there in the first. Hmm. Sid's best invention. Hmm. That sounds promising. I know I have like the best Sid so voice Sid ever. Something in Mid's first opus. What would that be? Perhaps Otto might know. Uh, her first opus, that would be Opus 1, the Final Fantasy trading card game, uh, uh, first Opus 1 series. If Amber and the Lazarus. Please, I mean, the, anybody who's a Final Fantasy fan knows they're referring to the Final Fantasy trading card game. Did you ever, did you ever get into those cards at all, Sans, or nah? I don't, I don't think you ever did, right? Well, did you find anything? Opus 1 is worth a good chunk now. You wouldn't happen to know what Mid's first opus was. Opus? That girl's as tone deaf as a banshee. Unless you mean the orchestrion. She couldn't have been more than what, 11, 12, when she cobbled that thing together? It surprised us all. Not least her dad. You should have seen how proud he was of the little scamp. What's that battered old box have to do with anything? I think Sid may have hidden something inside it. <laughs> wouldn't surprise me. Those two and their bloody treasure hunts. Half the things in the hideaway were hidden one time or another. Yeah, like how much, how much does an Opus One? I mean, some people pay big bucks for some of this shit. Is that an Opus Five booster box for? Tw tw oh, that's twenty-three bucks. Jeez, super cheap. <laughs> Someone was saying a PSA ten. Champion's Path Charizard now is like a hundred bucks. Oh, maybe they're referring to the. Oh no, they're not. They're not wrong, actually. So, PSA 10 full art Charizard VMAX from Shining Fates sold for two hundred and seven bucks. That's crazy. Yeah, it's not quite a hundred. It's not that low. But yeah, like some of these, man, it's crazy. Remember people used to buy these for a thousand bucks? Isn't that nutty? Not even close anymore. You equestrians in the tub and crown, where it's always been. How are we supposed to do our duty when the hills are Cole said it was an army of a So did did Killy end up ripping any packs while you were gone, Sans? Because she said she was very tempted to rip a ton of packs while you were out. <laughs> she threatened to. I didn't break it. Well, I didn't break it. What didn't you break? Y'all broke it. Nothing. We didn't break nothing. We definitely didn't break the orchestra. <sighs> What's wrong with it? It's broken. Except when it isn't. Okay. See? And you had nothing to do with this? Nope. Nothing. We just wanted to listen to all the songs at once. <laughs> so we press all the buttons. Oh, God. Like this. I like how they don't show them hitting all the buttons. Just a bunch of rumbling and noise. See? All too well. All right. Out of the way. I mean, it doesn't sound like they broke it. They just temporarily made it not function the, the way it normally would. Why is there even a little thing for me to hold X? Like, that's just kind of weird, right? Just just have it be part of the scene. This something caught on one of the gears. That's a pretty dope-ass looking it? sword. Can you fix it? No, I mean, yeah, yes. There. How about now? 
Yes, they. Yes, there was no mini game. They early before they even released the game, they said there would be no mini games. Yeah, new music. Never heard this one before. It's Sid's theme. They started playing when I removed this. Whatever it is. Ambrosia for Ochogobo hot and cold. Isn't this? Yeah, this is Sid's theme, isn't it? AFK, he's like, I'm out. I'm heading to Melting Pot. Got to get my order in for the uh, good shit. For the good, good seasoning. Let's just hope it's the stuff ships are made of as well. Indeed. Let's see if we can make some dreams come true. So what is this thing? Hey, it's all. What's up, dude? Like father, like daughter. Why did we get so much stuff for that quest? Question is, what is that thing? Like, what did I just get? I don't even know. Just the two I was looking for. I heard. Who's a patient? Actually, yes. The Crown Prince just left. Dion left? Unless you've another word for stood up and walked off. Yes, left. He did have the decency to leave a message with Obelis before commandeering one of his dinghies. Should we go after him? No. We're not the Prince's keepers. He's free to do as he sees fit. I'd rather he did so in bed. His wounds are nowhere near healed. Much like yours, I suspect. I mean, what else Otto is new? Tell me what happened in Canver. Zal's like, I'll heal what your is wounds. It with this realm's princes and their aversion to rest. Uh, ask me when I get back. Though I may be some time. Then at least try to stay safe. Yes, the old Troy. Old Troy. But if that fails, try to stay alive, eh? I waste here the further the flagship sails the final I have to get back piece. you reckon there's any more treasure in the orchestrion only one way to find out oh shit good bones that's the name of sid's theme it's funny i guess we'll just leave it though it's, it's fairly fitting in it oh no we got some stuff dudes Oh yeah, let's go look at what this key item says. Oh, that's where I'm supposed to go. But we have quests. Final piece. A small yet intricate clockwork contraption crafted and hidden away by Sid in the hope that his intrepid daughter might one day find a use for it. Let me help. I know my letters. Uh, most of them anyway. Very well. The more eyes we have poring over these tomes, the sooner we'll find answers about these skies. We all know that bearers have a resilience to the ill effects of ether. But don't you find it strange that there are those who, despite being free of magic's burden, can seemingly pass through a flood without consequence? I asked our loresman how this could be, and he suggested might have something to do with bloodlines. Many of the realm's dominants are born to specific families, you see. The Rosfields, the Lesages. So there must be something in those families' blood that provides them with the potential to become vessels for icons. But what about the ones who don't awaken? Could it be that this same potential provides them with something of the same immunity? Your uncle's recent travels with you across the ether ravaged countryside would certainly suggest so. And yet, what about Gav? Well, in smaller, more isolated populations, bloodlines are less diluted. Hence, Shiva's dominant sometimes awakening in the child of a common northerner. And our scouts not having turned a hundred times over. I mean, it makes sense. That's what I kind of figured for a while. Sid. 
Did you know that chocobos oh, are yeah. far more we resilient were aware to the of effects this. of ether than most of Good morrow to you, my friend. Few thousand I have tones. I compiled some new entries. If you would nice. like to see them. Level me up. Yay, wisdom, a level six. fascinating excerpt I've been meaning to show you. Southwestern Alliance. An entente formed between Domecchia and the Duchy of Rosaria in the year 850 with the aim of preventing the free cities of Canberra from claiming independence from the Republic. While well, the alliance eventually became a three-way affair when Sambrek joined, bonds between the Domecks and the Rosarians remained particularly strong. The Rosaria sharing the secret of vital techniques such as irrigation and the free flow of various diplomats between the two nations. Zemeckis. The mother crystal that is believed to have stood in an area in the northeastern part of Dalmechia. Legends tell that it was destroyed in a battle between men and gods. A fat battle so ferocious that it left behind the great crater that can be seen today. Yep. Yeah, there used to be a crystal there. The Bank of Gilbard. The Great Lender. A folk religion popular in the free cities of Canberra. Gilbard the Golden was a legendary trader who not only introduced the concept of fiat currency to Valacia, but founded Canberra's very first merchant's guild. When that same guild was later entrusted with administering Valencia's common currency, they chose the name Gil in honor of the revered founding father. The faith is organized largely along the lines of the commercial organization, and players or prayers tend to be aimed at bringing prosperity and success in business. The Trinity, uh, Triunity of 859. A tripartite alliance formed in the year 859 between Rosaria, Dalmechia, and Zembrek. Its purpose was to oppose the independence of the free cities of Canberra due to fears that this might inspire similar independence movements elsewhere in the realm. The alliance was disbanded in 1860, just like a year later, in light of the attack on Phoenix Gate and the dispute over Sambroqua culpability in the affair. Magitech. Term... Wait. What? Why is Magitech in... Okay. A term that appears in early histories of the fallen civilization and describes their highly advanced magical technology, of which the airship is best known is the best known example. They also produce weapons all but indistinguishable from living beings. Yet those destructive powers rivaled that of gods of legend. The early chroniclers labeled these beasts the icon iconoclasts, and it is from this term that the icons of the present day take their moniker. Huh. Iconoclasts. Interesting. So they have Magitech in this game, technically? You wish to study the tomes? Interesting, Jack. Did you learn everything you needed? I mean, yeah, we've got some cool... Let me help. Got some sweet lore, mate. I know my letters. Okay, wouldn't it be faster to just do this? Because then I can, like... I'll just show up right where I need to be at the earlier in the spot. Boom. 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 Yeah, that lore is pretty hot, dude. That's pretty some sick lore. Right, we got some questicles up here. It was an army of a cash All right, Clive. Blackthorn told me you helped him out again. Tough for that. Speaking of which, I'm actually a bit um worried about him, and you want my advice. Afraid so. It's a bit of a funny one, this, but I saved this posh knob while I was out on a mission. And he gave me this flashy ring to say thank you. Posh knob? So, obviously, I show it to Blackthorn, thinking he'll be impressed. Only for him to go white as a sheet and quiet as a curl instead. Try as I might, I can't for the life of me work out what could have got him upset like I that. I saved this posh knob. And seeing as how Blackthorn opens up when you're around, I thought, maybe... I'll speak with him. I'd speak to him again. Well... I suppose there's no point leaving him to stew. Cheers, Clive. I'll be sure to pay him a visit as soon as I have a moment. All right. I'll meet you by the forge then. You come along when you're ready. Blacksmith's Blues 3. We got another quest up here. There's always something. Oh jeez, this guy this guy not look Bro, it's like literally almost at his face. Breathe. It'll all be over soon. Thing. Would it be crazy if we, like we literally watched this guy's face just go full stone. Well, 
already read that one. Thing. How is he even still barely moving his neck? Crazy. Glory to Griga. There you are. I'm not a moment too soon. What's happened? Taya's busy working herself into an early grave. Since the arrival of her latest patient, she's refused to stop, even for a moment. I've tried offering to see to him in her stead, but she won't hear of it. Clive, she hasn't left the infirmary in days. She's pushing herself too hard. And if she doesn't rest soon, will you talk to her? Order her to her chambers if that's what it takes. Because if she keeps this up, I fear the hideaway will be without its best physica before too long. At least try. I know better than to order Taya to do anything. But I'll speak to her. Oh, thank you. I pray you have better luck than I did. We'll speak with her. Tears of mercy. Yeah, I don't know the whole prioritize quest thing. I don't get really what that is. Say whatever you must, but get her to rest. I'm not physical enough to fill her shoes should we lose her. Is it her enough? Well, Taya, Rodrigo is worried about you. And if what he says is Yeah, which is so weird. Right, it doesn't... Yeah, it's kind of pointless, though, your right? But it's strange. You do need Because they all show up on the map anyway. I will when it's time. Until then, I'm staying put. We owe him that much. Who is he? Someone from my past. Someone who doesn't deserve to die alone. It won't be much longer. The crystal's curse has almost finished its work. If I had the tears, I could ease his passing. But without them, we've nothing that will touch the agony of those last few hours. How would tears help this man? Not my tears. Tears of mercy. Alicia, it's the only thing strong enough. You wouldn't, Tyre. Surely. There must be something we can do for him. Sometimes an easy death is the greatest kindness we can offer. You do well to remember that, Rodrigue. I... I, I will. We have all the ingredients we need for Alicia Balwam. It needs to be fresh, though, so we rarely have much to hand. I can make the draft if you can bring me what we're missing. Just tell me what you need. There is a species of venom-weeping spider that lives in the forests of Norvant, near Lorbert's Pass. Bring me one of their eyes. Preserve it as best you can, but avoid contact with the tears. I'll make sure the other ingredients are ready before you return. Thank you, Clive. I won't forget this. If it was me lying there, I know he'd do me the same kindness. Gotta ease his suffering. It will take me some time to prepare the other ingredients. Time enough for you to make for the old road north of Lost Wing and return with that eye. Gotta get that big old, gotta get that eyeball, you know what I'm saying, chat? All right, so we're gonna go here real quick because it's faster. I think we have to go talk to Blackthorn. It said I had another plus thing. Oh, I do. Way over there. Okay. Sorry to drag you into this again. But you're the only one he'll open up to. All right, mate. Talk to me. again oh, <laughs> and you got better things to do with your time i mean yes i, I yes actually august tells me he showed you a ring and that the sight of it clearly upset you would you mind telling us why come on mate black ain't gonna help no one the weakest if it weren't the ring weakest and it was soul I slash sent, heart in the realm then i'm sorry it was the ring right <laughs> go back some unhappy memories that's all Memories better left forgotten. Memories of what? There are things we'd all rather leave behind, Blackthorn. But sometimes it helps to talk about them. 
and sometimes it doesn't. Is that so hard to understand? <laughs> Don't be like that. Fine. If it'll get you off my back. That ring you flashed was the work of Zoltan. We apprenticed together back in the day. You've never mentioned him before. Why would I? I ain't seen him in decades, and the last time I did, we almost came to blows. The ring brought it all back. I could tell it was one of his the moment I saw it. Bastards improved, though. More than I thought possible. That thing's a work of art. So it was a nice ring. Worth a few gill, maybe. What's it matter to you? It matters, because engraving metal's a nightmare, and I've got no bloody idea how he managed it. The fact is... I couldn't make anything even half that detailed. So what? You're an armorer, not a jeweler. I'm the Idaway's master craftsman. I'm not stealing a living at some backwater village forge. My armor keeps you lot safe, and my swords keep you dangerous. As far as I'm concerned, every swing of my hammer's another blow struck in the name of our cause. So I put my heart and soul into my work. Because the curse breakers deserve better than second best. And I refuse to be shown up by the likes of Zoltan. Very well. Dang. Why don't we go and pay him a you visit? You don't want to get shown up. Learn his secret. I doubt he'd be too happy to see me. Then just this once. Make peace with being second best. Swallow your pride. And focus all your energies on the task at hand. Keeping the curse breakers armed and armored. Provided you can do that, you'll hear no complaints from me. But if you can't, and it's going to distract you, we need to do something about it. What'd you say, Blackthorn? You know he's right. What'd you say, mate? It's not like you'll be going alone. All right. Magic. So, where do you reckon old what's-his-name is, then? Zoltan, was it? In Dravozd, my old village. He won't have left. He's the chief. Dravos. Dravos, eh? Dravos. Uh, not far from Tabor, right? Just north of the fields of Carava. Got that, Clive? Meet us at Dravos as soon as you can, yeah? And I'll make sure Blackthorn don't get cold feet. Good luck with that. I'll see you there. All right, so we're gonna do that. I wonder if like what the if the plus means like it's a continuation quest or if it means it's like an opening up something new quest. I actually don't know, cause it never says. But I think it's like a continuation quest is what it is. Cause this one might be like a number two of a previous quest we've already done as well. Sid. Do you recall the flowers I had you bring back to the yard? Vaguely. Is something wrong? I'm afraid so. I was able to get most of the Morgan beards to take root, but they rarely flower. I fear the soil here does not agree with them. However, I believe I have a solution. I can't wait to hear it. I'm going to marry the Morgan beards with marbles. I know, I know, <laughs> but hear me out. Morbles are possessed of a highly choleric temperament. The fire which drives them appears to be maintained by an abundance of nutrient-rich ether drawn from their environs. I believe that by grafting a morble vine to a morgan beard, the appendage's wealth of vigor-inducing nutrients might well stimulate the flower to bloom. The endeavor, I assure you, is scientifically sound. I simply need a vine to prove the theory. So, you need me to go, okay. And all you need is a single vine from an ordinary morble. That is correct. A single vine. As for the morble, I fear ordinary may oh, not geez. suffice. But as luck would have it, a most extraordinary specimen is rumored to haunt the swamps of Rosaria. Why, a notice concerning this very creature was only recently put on the was. board. How timely. I shan't keep you any longer. I know you have much to do, as do I. Now, where did I put my watering can? Please, sir, can I have some mobile? Nice. That's okay. Yep, solid. Those who encountered this mobile in Rosaria claim it was as large as a house. Think of all the ether it must have consumed to attain such a prodigious size. 
its vines will be bursting with untold vigor. So are you saying we're gonna fight the Hell House, but it's a Hell Morble? Is, is that what you're trying to tell me, game? All right, well, we gotta go, we gotta go find the hunt location. Cole said it was an army of a cash. All right, talk to me, Kupo. Ask about morble sightings. I hear your brother isn't a fan of carrots, Kubo. If every carrot of Rosaria is anything like the one that just got posted on the board, I can see why, Kubo. Aw, oh, dude, is it carrot, the Mal Malboro? <laughs> it's carrot. Nice. Oh, uh, that's good. Dude, this is like a reference all the way back to freaking FF Tactics, by the way, for those who don't know. Carrot. If you should come across a red carrot protruding from the marshes of three reeds, do not attempt to pull it from the swampy soil. It is, in truth, another root vegetable entirely. An exotic species of morble that uses a modified carrot-like vine as a lure to draw its prey close. Before emerging from the earth and swallowing them whole. A cruel way for nature to turn these times of privation to her advantage. You only recognize it because of my stream, really? Yeah, so it's in Tactics. It's in Tactics Advance 1, maybe 2. I'm not 100% on 2. And then it's also in 12. As a hunt as well. Whispering Waters, Rosario. Whispering wa Wait, this thing has a new shot? Whispering Waters? Oh, up here. Okay. Well, I'll go here real quick just to see what's new in this shop. I mean, that's literally what you- bro, what? I mean, you act like you didn't do that same thing a thousand times and looking for where hunts are in this game. Bro, please. Anything catch your eye? The- the breath of light. Sure. I have money. Much obliged. Take care out there, eh? Oh yeah, do I need items, actually? No, do you? Nah, we- we cool. Fairly well. We cool, bro. Yeah, I mean, like, you would do that. I would imagine everybody would do that every time, right? So my thing now is it's like, I don't really have anything else to really, like, upgrade. I mean, I guess I could just make sure I, like, I unlock everything. That way everything is learned. Learn all the things. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, you. the thing is, is you can reset your points with no penalty, so it really doesn't matter. <clears throat> Ready, go. Can you not get stuck? Yeah, because if I ever want to change stuff, I can just reset, so... It's not, uh, not a huge deal. Okay, I remember I came in here once, I was like, there's probably a marble or something that pops up in here. You deserve a rest. <clears throat> ah, yes. Look at them carrots, dude. Carrot. Dang. Don't put your dick in it, chat. Would advise against that. Oh, shit. No, no, I wasn't expecting that. Alright then. Are we cool? We cool. Okay. Here we go. We're going in. We're going in. Okay, I wasn't sure when the exactly the attack was gonna come. Bop! 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 Come here! Oh, that's that's some big, big pulls!
worse breath? Oh my god. Okay, that was kind of unfortunate. Yeah, let's just go in. He didn't stagger when I would have liked him to, so... Eh, it's not bad damage, though. Okay, rude. Oh, jeez, hi. What up, bro? Acid rain. We, yeah, we, we, we're watching out. All right, he digging, he digging. Oh, jeez. Hello. Damn. Okay. Oh, my goodness, this guy. No. Ow. Come at me again. I'll give you a dollar. Okay, he broke it. Come down, boy. Come down, boy. Oh, shit. I don't have it. Oh, my God. There's just shit everywhere. Run. Nice try. Woo. Oh, do he match? Nah, bro. Nah, bro. All right, we just do that. That's fine. <laughs> oh my God, Zal, did you really? Were you really thinking about that that hard, huh? Morbul tendril. Extending from the underside of a morbul's body, these tendrils mainly serve the purpose of locomotion. When times are lean, however, they are they also can serve as temporary roots, drawing ethereal energies from the soil. Morbul flower. Aha, here's how you get that. It is said a morbul only blooms once every 30 summers, and when it does that the when it does that the resulting flower emits such a noxious odor that flies, beetles, vultures, and other cravers of carrion are drawn from leagues around by the stench. The resultant convergence sees the flower pollinated with the morbul devouring those late of the festivities. Obtained by defeating carrot. Ugh. That was definitely anything but ordinary. Yeah. No. Let's get this vine back to the yard. Dude, that tentacle daddy just sat right on top of me. Did you see that? Woof. Bork. I mean, while I'm out, I might as well do these things. We all were. What do you mean we all were, bro? We're not getting all excited over tentacles and shit. That's you, fam. Kicked down already. No. This charmer ain't letting anyone through. Why are the gates closed? Oh, yeah, I remember this dick. Chief's orders. No one's allowed in without his say-so. Not that I'd have let you in anyway. You look like trouble. I mean, he's not wrong, right? I suggest you go home. That's what I'm trying to do, you little prick. <laughs> ain't changed a bit, have you, Snotty? No. It isn't. Blackthorn. Long time no see, eh? It's naughty. What the hell are you doing here? Well, it was meant to be a surprise, but since you are so nicely, I'm here to see Zoltan, you fucking numbskull. No one lets <laughs> us through. All right. Dude, Blackthorn, when he gets annoyed, he's hella funny. Just... Don't go starting anything with the chief. I promise I won't throw the first punch. That good enough for you?
I like how his right on. hand is not even on his hip. Much obliged. Thanks, mate. Yeah, it's not the first time we've ever been able to get into this village, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think the plus unlocks stuff. If I had to guess. Like it unlocked this village. Oh, there's like a bunch of So this is Dravoshed. Hmm. Not much going bunch on. Of smithing is there? shit in the back. It's a smithing town. Yeah. When I was a lad, you'd have to shout to be heard over the sound of hammer on anvil. Clive. You're good with people. You speak to Sultan. Hey, you ain't backing out now, are you? There's a river of bad blood between me and the chief. But if someone can build me a bridge, then I'll cross it. All right. I'll see what I can do. Clave, always the errand boy. You'll be near the forge on the hill. It was our master's. He'd have inherited it when I left. Forge on the hill. Uh, good luck. You'll be needing it. Good luck, Clave. There's got to be shit to find here or something, right? Yeah, because we've never been able to come up here before. So. I wonder why Blackthorn and Zoltan fell out. Hammer envy? Our master always liked to keep an eye on the village. That's why he built his forge up on the hill. There's, I mean, there's got to be stuff in here. Stuff in here, right? But if we can't fire the forges, how are we going to earn our keep? Shut your hole. The chief will think of something. Well, seems like stuff here ain't going so well. I have some things for sale. The lion and the hare orchestration roll. All right, cool. Certainly. We, we pick that up. May we meet again? There's something. Goblin coin. Is this guy gonna actually put this down? Or is he just gonna carry it up here and then walk back down with it? <laughs> Dude, sometimes NPCs are just so stupid. Like the like. The Isn't there anything we can do to terrible. help? Terrible. It doesn't seem fair. The men folk having to deal with all this on their own. I've started putting peas and pulses in the pot. But they fill the same hole for a fraction of the price of meat. <laughs> Man, some of them, some of those things are just bad. So, but if none of you lot can smell ore anymore, we're going to have to start looking for new clients. Ha! Huh. Good luck finding anyone else who can make a fire worth a damn. <laughs> The Dravods wearing warrants. Ah! <coughs> Excuse me. What's going on here? What's the point of mining this shit if no one can use it? Mm. If they don't fix the forges soon, we'll be out of a job. Yeah, right? Pretty much. It's like, oh, you weren't supposed to notice how we designed this thing poorly. There's a mine. Do we get to go into it? Oh, no. This guy's like the gatekeeper. Miners only. Can't have you tripping head first into a pile and bringing the old place down. The sky sucked up all the ether or something. Would explain why nothing bloody works down here anymore. Yeah, this is that spot before where I could like drop down off the edge. I can get up here. Watch it, stranger. There's a fall up ahead. Take a look if you want, but slip and you're not coming back. I mean, I could easily come back. So yeah, easy. See, guy doesn't even know what he's talking about. Come on, fight me, bro. Oh, okay. Bop, bop, bop. Come 
Come here. Easy. Are you done? Too easy. Said I wouldn't be coming back. What is this guy tripping about? My man clearly has never fast traveled. Clearly. Look at that skill. Like Thorne's got some nerve coming back here. <laughs> but if we can't fire the forges, how are we gonna earn our keep? You don't, dude. Mama, why hasn't Papa come back yet? He's helping the chief with something very important. You go back inside now. He hasn't come back because he's not coming back, you little shit. Because you do things and make him mad, okay? There's a lot more area to check out. Get out of there, birds. Would it be nice to be like Resident Evil 4 and I could shoot them and maybe get something out of it? That's my obituary written then. The man who closed the doors on his great grandfather's forge. Oh, don't say that. It's not over yet. Let me help. Still all that doom and gloom music. Should be enough to last us a few moons, at least. Auto cutscene. Hotter! Hotter, damn it! Those miserable flames wouldn't melt butter, let alone iron. Pardon the intrusion. I'm looking for the chief. That'd be me. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'll bet it is. Keep the gates closed, I tell him. Well done, snotty. You're not welcome here. Get out. Before things turn nasty. Blackthorn's here. What did you say? He's traveled a long way to see you. <sighs> yes, has he? He's waiting. Down by the gates. Then I suggest you take him with you. When you leave. Didn't you apprentice together? So what if we did? Fuck! We're getting nowhere! These bearers' flames are next to bloody useless! We're never gonna be able to fire up the forges <clears throat> unless we can find some new crystals! I'm a busy man, as you can see, so do me a favor and piss off. Oh, and if you're struggling to find your way out, us black There's a lot of angry people in this town. Freak knows exactly where the exit is. A lot of He's angry not people. Wanted here. And neither are you. All right. I'm going. Yo, why are y'all so angry? You've got to do something. It's no use. The flames just aren't hot enough. I suppose we could try working copper instead. If we had the ore. I thought I'd made myself clear. Piss. Off. Bollocks. So bearer's magic's no more use than the crystals. We could try making a bunch of them do it at once. Yeah, that ain't working out so well, is it, pal? Mama? Why has not pal? But if we can't fire the forges, how are we going to earn our keep? Shut! You won't! I guess. Zoltan told you to piss off. As a personal favor to him, yes. Yes, he did. He, se he seems like a nice guy. Well, at least he didn't beat about the bush. There'll be no talking him around. Not after what I did. Which is what exactly? If we're to help, we need to know. 
What turned the village against you? I left. Dravoshd. Zoltan. The burden of leadership our dying master dropped in our laps. <laughs> All of it. There are two kinds of smiths in this world, you see. My kind, who are in it for the love of the craft. We will labor on a single piece from dawn to dusk to get it just right. And the other kind, who are in it for different reasons. People like Zoltan, whose work is quick and cheap. The kind of smiths who shit out a few hundred blades, reap the profit and divvy out among themselves. There wasn't a single day we weren't at each other's throats. And bit by bit, people started taking sides. You would have torn Dravos in half had it gone on. So, I left. You didn't have to do that. Zoltan's a better chief than I would have been. His way of doing things kept food on people's tables. Dravosh prospered without me and my lofty ideals getting in the road. Until the crystals run out at any rate. Without magic to fire the furnaces, this place is as good as dead. It depends on how you look at it, though. There's got to be other ways of making fire. We manage it in the Deadlands. Thanks to Sid's ingenuity, yeah. He saw all of this coming. New crystals were the problem, not the solution. And spent years coming up with ways of doing without. You know what I mean, though, right? Where there's a will, there's a way. What I'm trying to say is that it's not your fault. You couldn't have predicted this. It doesn't matter whose fault it is. I don't want to be the greatest smith alive just because I happen to be the last. Clive. Dravosh won't last long without his furnaces. So, do you think it's time we shed Sid's bellows with the world? The way I see it, it's your decision to make. Hold on, Blackthorn. Sid made those things for us. They give us an edge over the rest. And you'd be throwing it away. All right. Do it. This place was your home. I won't abandon it to its fate. Sid's creations were never meant to be hoarded. It was only ever a matter of time before we shared them. Let this be another step on the road to freeing Valisthea from the prison of the Crystal's blessing. Dravosht will show the world that it's possible. Wouldn't you agree, August? When you put it that way, of course. It's like hearing Sid speak from beyond the grave. Thank you, Clive. August's like, don't share our secrets, bro. Shall I go and fetch the plans, then? Not for anyone else. I know I'm off by heart. I'll be needing some help, though. Building a furnace isn't exactly a one-man job. Do us a favor and round up anyone strong enough to lug a brick or two with you, August. Uh, all right, then. And I've got a job for you, too, Clive. Finding me some salamander skin. I need leather for the bellows and nothing else will withstand the heat. Luckily for us... Salamanders feed out in the fields of Carava. Time for a spot of hunting, man. A spot of hunting, mate. Sid tried all sorts of leather to make those bellows, but salamander skin was the only kind that worked. Luckily for all our sakes, salamanders aren't too hard to find around these parts. Do that. Don't worry, I'll get black for the LP needs. Once I've worked out who hates us the least. All right, so we got to go over there. It's not too far out of the way. Blackthorn's got some nerve coming back here. Is that all you got to say, bro? What he's got to say? 